Hi, good morning. Today we are going to talk about how does healing happen? So many people go to healers and they say, please heal us or heal our situation or heal our life. What are they asking for? They are actually asking for direction because they have become clueless about how to move forward in life. And why have they become clueless? Because they have lost the connection with their own higher self. It means that all people in this world are born with the wisdom to know what is right and what is wrong, how to deal with life and what are the answers to our questions. But when that connection is broken between you and your wisdom is when people start becoming clueless and wander about aimlessly meditation after meditation, seeking gurus, seeking knowledge because they have become disconnected. A job of a healer is actually to connect people to their own divine wisdom. We can call it the higher self also. This is what a healer actually does. But what is the first step for someone to accept that this is the first step? So the first thing that we must be aware of is that we don't have to be in denial. When we are in denial, oh, I don't have this problem and I'm not looking for a solution is when nobody can help you. So if you're seeking healing from anybody or seeking guidance or direction from anybody, the first step is acceptance and awareness of your problem. What is my problem? Why am I seeking help? A simple thing could be I'm seeking help for my relationship. I'm seeking help for my own growth, my low confidence. I'm seeking help because I get triggered by others. I'm seeking help because I'm stuck with money. I'm seeking help because I have recurrent health issues and I'm not sure why. I'm seeking help because I want to be more peaceful and happy. Simple step number one in your diary, please write why are you seeking help? And a good healer will be able to make you understand that what lies beneath this issue. So if you have an issue with your relationship, what lies beneath it? Is it your uh, self-confidence or how do you show up in a relationship or is it related to other people showing up? So the first step to any healing is awareness of your own problem. If you go to a doctor and you, he takes out an x-ray or a blood report, the first step is always to understand what are we dealing with. So unless we are in acceptance of the fact that we are dealing with an issue and we are aware and we want to get out of that issue, uh, healing cannot even begin. So uh, keep watching this series for the next step and have a great day.